Hey, what's up everybody? Joshua Casper back at you with Plugin Boutique. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to get started using the new strumming feature inside of Scalar. Mainly, we're gonna focus on routing Scalar to control a VSTI inside of Ableton Live, but we're also gonna check out some of the new features for the strumming itself. The strumming feature can be found right here on the right side of Scalar. Just click it on, and now when we play a chord, it will be strummed like a guitar. So we also have some new guitar sounds inside of Scalar itself. We've got an electric, harmonic, and acoustic. So if I go ahead and switch that up, let's come into some of the new progressions. So you can see rock down here is probably a good place to start. And now if I go ahead and click this, you'll see that it's strummed. It's strummed up from D to A to D very slowly. Now we can change the strumming speed right over here, slow, medium, and fast. And that is very, very cool. So we still have all of the features that Scalar had before, but now we can use it for a guitar. Now there's also the new fretboard. So instead of looking at the keyboard, which is generally used for keys and pianos and such, we can switch over to the fretboard. So if you're used to guitars, this might be a better view for you. Now, as I said before, this is very, very useful when you have a nice guitar VSTi outside of Scalar. So right now I'm gonna show you how to get the routing done inside of Ableton Live. I'm gonna come into my Ample Sound guitar and I'm gonna go ahead and drag and drop it into its own channel. If you drop down the menu here, You can see that there are their own separate things right now, but I want to use Scalar to trigger the chords inside of this VSTi. So what I want to do is from the All Ins dropdown, come down to Scalar, and then from the Post Effects dropdown, come down to Scalar as well. So now if I go ahead and trigger a chord inside of Scalar, you'll notice that the guitar is being triggered in conjunction with the chord being pressed. So we want to come up and actually disengage the audio for the channel on Scalar so we don't hear that audio from Scalar itself. Perfect. The question now is, is how do I use my MIDI keyboard? So I have an external MIDI keyboard plugged in and you can see that it's getting MIDI coming in, but it's not getting, it's not triggering the VSTi. So the way to use that external MIDI keyboard is to choose in on your guitar VST channel and then instead of arming that guitar VST channel, you want to arm Scalar. So if I come back in and we go ahead and bind the MIDI for these chords down here. You'll see that we're cooking with power. So just to reiterate, if you want to use your mouse, make sure to have your guitar VST armed. You can leave it on in if you want, but when you're using your mouse, you don't need to have it in, it can be on auto. And when it's time to use your external keyboard, just make sure that the scalar channel is armed. So that's how to get started using the all new strumming feature inside of Scalar. This is a free update. If you have Scalar, you can go update right now for absolutely free. If you don't have Scalar, it's something you want to consider putting in your arsenal because it's extremely powerful. And as we continue to add on to it, it's just going to get better and better and better.